We didn't want it just to be like a plot show. We wanted it to be a character show. We wanted, we, and we wanted to tell love stories. We love to tell love stories, you know, and 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 setting a love story in an unusual setting is just what a delight for us, you know. I am loving Rabbit Hole. Uh, end of the first episode, I was just like, "What did I just witness?" Seamless transition from corporate espionage to espionage, espionage. Um, how did you guys handle those tonal shifts? We love to play with tone, so I, it's, it's something we, we were, we're uh, always interested in, in pursuing. And uh, and we always set out to do a show that was, was kind of redefine itself every uh, every so often uh, and play with the audience expectation. When uh, we were sent information, the first thing that I see is you know we crashed and this is us, and I was like. Hmm. <laughs> and, and yet you feel both those things in <laughs> Rabbit Hole. Yeah, some of it, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. sure. So um, can you talk about uh, incorporating, like, that family flashbacks, the vulnerability that that brings out in John's character? The show is set in a world where um, truth is unreliable and you don't know where reality is. And so we thought, oh, what, wouldn't it be great to explore a character who grew up in this world and what damage did it cause? And and what you learn over the course of the series without giving away too much is that that in fact it gave him his superpower, but it also it also damaged him, and he has to overcome that in order in order to su- succeed. By the end of su- the season, he has to overcome the damage. You so know. he succeeds. I mean, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> good job. <laughs> you have Kiefer Sutherland, who is amazing. Um, how, and I know, like you guys, reach out to him first, right? Yeah. How did you know he was the one? And then how do you find the child one of him? That yeah, was great, hard. great kid, uh, uh, Graham. Uh, from Texas. From oh, Texas. Yeah, yeah, we had Fulman. We had a Fulman from That's Texas. Right. Yeah, Graham. Um, um, yeah, we, uh, we heard Kiefer was looking for something, and we um, uh, quickly came up with this idea. And you know, the advantage of having someone like Kiefer is you give people trust him, and he's throwing a lot of misdirects out in the audience because he's a character who's you know, the smartest guy in the room. He's always ahead. And uh, so the audience gets thrown curveballs, and you want the audience to know, trust him still, even though he's doing that to them. And the filmmakers are playing with you, the, um, Kiefer's playing with you, and um, so to have someone like that is uh, is vital. Also, Haley is one of my favorite characters because she injects humor <laughs> in yeah, every yeah, scenario. Yeah. And also, uh, you know, as just like a rom com fan, I'm like, I love this banter. Can there be romance, or is we are too broken? That's the question for the season. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the question for the season. I mean, that is the journey, you know. Uh, can he heal? Because, you know, relationships are about trust. And, and, and this is a world where trust is, you know, a, qu- a quantity, you know. That, and they that, both uh, have issues. Either. Yeah, they both have issues. And so they, you know, and and uh, you know, they both lived, you know. They both had lived full lives. So, yeah, so it's that's part of the fun. We didn't want we didn't want it just to be like a plot show. We wanted it to be a character show. We wanted we, and we wanted to tell love stories. We love to tell love stories, you know. And 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 setting a love story in an unusual setting is just what a delight for us, you know. Everything has been a delight. So thank you guys, uh, including thank you. Charles Dance who I, I think we oh. were told like his existence is a spoiler. Like you can't even say who he's playing. So <laughs> we'll talk about it. But. He's playing Dr. Ben Wilson, who's a spy who's been out the whole too long. <laughs> I loved it. Thank you guys. But after the, we, we're doing two shows at the premiere. So after that, the audience yeah, knows. All, so all bets are off. Say whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys Thanks. so much. Okay. Thank you. Have a great day and great South by.